The thing that's super exciting me is, you know, obviously there's all the bits like Pearville, we're moving kitchens, YouTube, books, all that type of stuff, but one of the things that really intrigues me is human motivation and currently, say, our business is set up like as a traditional system, as in it's kind of hierarchical, there's the owners, which would be me, Dave and Dara, then there's kind of managers and then there's our wonderful team. And the bit that intrigues me is how we can share ownership as we grow. Uh, there's a company in Brazil called Semco or John Lewis who run... John um, Lewis in the UK. In the UK kind of who run Waitrose. Waitrose and many other kind of super cool companies. But I'm intrigued with uh, business organization and systems and how we can share ownership so that everyone who works in the Happy Pair can own a part of it and can get, you know, that's the bit that's intrigued me. So we have a super cool meet today with a really cool dude called Hugh. Um, and I'm really interested in that. So if you have any any all about any bits or wisdom or anything that you can share with this, I'd really love your help. Um, comment organization below. structures. This is all organization structures and how to, I guess. And it doesn't necessarily mean organization as in just a business. You know, organization is just an organization of people. So it could just be, you know, I yeah. think it's really, I think it's really just a, it's a collect, a collective of how to, people. Yeah, and how, and how to share ownership so that everyone involved owns it and cares more. Because I think that's, I think I might have said this before, but the thing that makes the happy pair what it is is our wonderful team. So I want to share ownership of the happy pair so they feel they can express their own creativity and their own. Um, Impetus and all that with it. So it'll be interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Over so the we're meeting this super cool dude anyway today, and then one of the universities in Dublin are going to come out and help us with it. So that bit is intriguing me. And if you have any help or wisdom or thoughts, um, I would be really grateful. Just arrived in a Pearville. Just arrived to, there's bro, look there he is, look at his sexy blue coat. I'm delighted, I got a real nice uh, lemon lime polenta blondie that's gluten free and vegan. So really delighted, you know take an idea from scratch? Do you want to taste it? Yes, 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 yes. Um, looks pretty good. It's moist and I use polenta and buckwheat flour. Wow, okay. So it is quite whole mealy. Um, good. Chia seeds, so there's chia seeds, there's a good source of omega 3 in it. What do you think? Yeah. Thumbs up. Yum. Thumbs up. Yeah! Okay, let's now. Let's see what Jabby here. Let's turn, turn around. Jabby. The cameras. The texture right. looks good. It's nice and kind of crumbly. Moist. Mmm. Wow, it's lovely. Yeah, nice night feel. Yeah, it's nice, crispy outside. Polenta is good touch, isn't it? Mm. Mm. There we are, dude. Good. We bring you your bit. Okay, dudes, here we are. Can you get some? So here we are in our fermentation lab. Um, we've got different kinds of kombucha. We've got apple cider vinegars, kimchi, sauerkraut, a few other bits like this. Uh, you can see that. Oi, 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 Okay, we only spilled. Oh, my books is it was. Yeah. So here's our kombucha. Looks almost like uh, beer or something, doesn't it? It's like a lager of some sort. But uh, super good for gut power. Really good digestive. It's like a digestive juice. Loads of good bacteria and yeast. Hey, Dad. What did you find? Did you find some napkins? Yeah. We clean it all up. Here's some of the baits today. Parmigiana. Looks pretty delish. And there's a dal. It's pretty nice. And there's handsome Giuliano. <laughs> there he is. Oh. Chef fantastic today. Miss <laughs> Fiona, darling. Here she is. Miss Shano. Shano's Hello, very, very excited. New coffee bag. <laughs> we'll come in and see you now in a sec. Okay. 
Oh, here he is, the coffee packing plant. The pink <laughs> office has turned into the coffee packing plant. Here it is, look, check it out. This is the new delight. And here's the great Shane Murphy. Oh, look, 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 here, look. Here's a, here's a cool trick. Shane brought his hair straightener. This is, spend a, instead of spending 300 quid on a, on a bag sealer, we got a, a Remington 20 euro. It's very does, clever, does Shane -o. One camera to the next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and how proud are you of the bag, Shane? Oh, very, very proud. Yeah. It's been a lot of hard work. It really is, look. Originally started roasting coffee in Calgary in Canada about three years ago, so it's a kind of it's a big progression from there to have my big ugly head on a bag. And a, not just a bag, it's a beautiful bag. Beautiful bag. And we're calling it the Sunrise Blend, which is quite fitting to the packaging. Looks cool, sunrise looking packaging. And plus, because we love taking photos of sunrise. And there's a photo of the great. You up and rising with sunny coffee. Yeah, look, there's a nice photo of Shane out. Me and your man. And that's Raj. Raj, that is just to give. Clarify, Raj <laughs> did pour that. He did. Yo, dude, so, um, you know, I, there's lots of YouTube videos of unboxing, so uh, we figured why not put in the vlog. So, here's a super cool package we got in. This is from Shane. Shane's our manager, coffee roaster, aka Super Ninja. His cousin has this really cool clothes business that started in a market and kind of this good ethics behind it where he wants to have f kind of environmentally friendly sound clothes for everyday use. So he sent us a package. What's in it? Whoa! Wait, hang on, hang on. We got the super cool package. Stephen. Here we go. Stephen Murphy. Stephen Murphy! Yes. Uh, fresh cut clothes. So very excited to see what it is. Thank yeah, you, so, Stephen Murphy. Yeah, Stephen Murphy. Uh, we finished for the line sec. Oh, wow. Look at that for beautiful. So look, this is very a, tasty. Look, look, look at that for beautiful. Very nice design. Look at this. Fresh cut clothing. So this is kind of like kind of natural organic. Here he food. goes. Here's Stephen with the four blades. Unboxing <laughs> four blades. Oh, this is very <laughs> sexy. Um, what will it be? What will it be? <gasps> so exciting! Here we go. Here we go. I love the twine. That's really nice. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? I'm so excited! Yes. Hey! Oh, nice. Oh, cool. Fresh. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So these are organic cotton T-shirts. So Sorry, they're kind of like kind of sustainable, kind of properly beautiful. produced. For everyday use, really pretty. Jesus, nice job. Oh, wow, geez. look at that. Thanks a million. Jesus, I'm very touched. Wow, look at that. That's amazing. I love the designs too. I really like that one. Here we go. Jeez, massive shout out. Oh, here we go. I'm sorry, gotta try it on. <laughs> massive it's, it's like being given food and not being allowed to wear it. Massive shout out to Steve Murphy, fresh cut clothing. The, yeah. Thank you! Steve, our baby! We love you! Here we go. Very cool. Look, the t-shirts are made from... They were made from trash. I was trash, but now I'm fashionable. Fully recycled. Go, cool, cool. Well done, Steve, Steve Murphy. Oh, wait, here, this is Mark. Look, this is the wonderful Jen, and she just made this for Stevie's little Theo's oh birthday. Oh my that is so cool. You gotta give, you gotta bring it's it up. Unreal. To He's big into little dinosaurs. He'll be, he'll be like nearly crying. He's so excited. Hey, you don't like that. That's amazing. That's hilarious. That. That's such a cool little That's cake. Amazing. So it's Theo's third birthday. It's Stephen's little son. Uh, so we're over here for the birthday party. Should be quite interesting.